Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this episode, we'll talk about how you can return the Schneider Electric Control Expert license from a computer which is online or on the internet and put it to another computer which is offline uh, which does not have internet connection. So let's get started. So this is my computer here that you're looking at. It has internet connection. Um, I can go to Google. Let me show it to you. So it has internet connection and all that fun stuff. So I can return online using license manager here. So let's get started here. So let's click and launch our Schneider Electric license manager here. So there you go. The license that I'm trying to return will be this one here. So you put a check here next to it and hit return. And it tells you that removing the license from your PC, you know, and all that stuff. So you click yes to return the license back to the Schneider Electric portal or their server. Okay, you should get this message called processing license return, remove license successful. So once that is done, click finish. And you should see that your license has disappeared from the license manager here. So I'm going to port the same license into another computer or an engineering workstation that does not have internet connection. Let me remote into that machine here. I'm remotely logged into another engineering workstation or another computer. I can show you it's not connected to the internet. If I try pinging Google, there's no response from Google server. So what we do next is we launch the Schneider Electric License Manager from here. As you can see, my trial license on this machine has expired. So in order to load the new license that I released from the other computer, you click on Activate. And when you hit Activate, if there's no internet connection, they will prompt you with this window here. So click on Use Another Active. There are three ways to activate your Control Expert either by mobile device, web portal, or by phone. We'll be using web portal today. Mobile device and phone is not part of this demonstration, but they're pretty straightforward. By phone, you're gonna have to call Schneider Electric support number. By mobile device, you'll need the mobile device and they'll send you some feedback and all that. Anyway, select web portal and note that this is where you have to upload the request XML file. Let me show you what I mean by this. Make sure it's selected here and click next. And then you have to enter your activation ID that was provided by Schneider Electric. If you look at the bottom right hand corner, this is what the activation license looks like. So you need the activation ID. So you enter the activation ID, which is a series of alphanumeric number. Then you click next. What happens next is that uh, you'll be provided with the activation request XML file. So I'm just going to put it under my document folder, click next. And again, they're giving you some pointers on where to get upload your XML file. Click next. If you navigate to this folder, you'll see your XML file is located there. This is an XML file that you're going to have to upload to the Schneider Electric licensing portal, which I'm going to do next. Again, that one there need uh, internet access. So I'm going to go back to the other computer, which has internet access. I'm back on the computer which has internet access and I've also transferred the XML file, the activation request XML file to this computer now. So you open your browser and you want to go to www.se.com slash L-I-C-N-S-I-N-G licensing. When you do that, you come to this page, click on process license request then request click on request processing and then this is where you're going to have to upload this xml file go browse it's on my desktop there you go and hit submit i'm going to click register later so once that's done you can download the response file click on download that this is my response file 
the response file is XML as well. So I'm going to have to upload this file to the engineering workstation on the other computer. I'll be right back. We're back at the engineering workstation with no internet connection. I have moved or copied the file from the computer that has the internet connection into this engineering workstation. Response file is here. So we're going to have to upload this response file to the license manager. So if you go back into your license manager here window, you'll click on this period here button. This period button here, you'll see the file here. Double click it and click next. So you should receive a successful transaction report here saying license created. When you click finish, you should see the license has been transferred in there. I hope this will help you. Other than that, have a good day.